I was very fortunate because I didn't, initially I didn't want to do it. It's, those are big shoes to fill. And um, I, I went to work at Disney Studios. Uh, this was uh, 1970 and 71. And uh, I went to work for a man by the name of Alan Maley, uh, who was running the mat department. My father had left because he left uh, Disney Studios shortly after Walt Disney's death in 1966. They were looking for an apprentice mat artist uh, for the mat department at, uh, at Disney Studios. And uh, this was before visual effects films had kind of made it a real impact with Star Wars in 77. And it was very, very difficult for, uh, for the studios to find people, especially something like mat painting, because the perception was, and part of it was true, that you had to paint like a photograph. So there was no creativity to it. It was, it was hard to go around to, uh, to art schools and have people who had studied art want to be, just paint photographs, just do copying type work. Uh, so there, was, uh, there were like three openings in, in, the, uh, in the department. I went there and uh, I said, you know, I'm not sure if this is really for me, uh, but um, I, you know, we'll, give, we'll give it a try. And Alan Maley was, was great. He said, okay, well, we'll see what happens. And, give you six months and after that we can reassess. And even though I'd grown up with a father who was in the movies, this uh, experience, I don't know whether it's because I was in my 20s, but suddenly I, the film bug kind of bit me. And I just thought this was very, very cool. And if you worked on a visual effects, whether it was one shot, you still had a little portion, a little piece of that, of that, of that movie, of that story. And it, it's kind of, it's never really gone away. Uh, there's something that's very special and very satisfying about that. And could be, you know, can be very difficult, can be frustrating, doesn't always work. And uh, I, that's what makes it so good when it does.